This year, fall entertaining means having a great outdoor living setup. We've decided to bring the kitchen outside as well by creating an outdoor cook station. I'm Todd Dermody, and this is Done DIY. Our outdoor cook station requires a lot of cutting, so a good circular saw will speed up the process and make sure that we end up with nice, even cuts. To begin, lay out your lumber materials and begin cutting the lumber for the sides, back, and front of the cook station. Make sure to check out our blog post for this project. It has a complete list of all the cuts you'll need to make. Assemble the box frame using two and a half inch screws to connect the two by threes for the sides of the box first. Once the sides have been completed, join the sides together by adding two by threes for the front and back of the cook station. On one of the two by threes, we will attach a 21 inch piece of cant strip. This piece will be used to join the back end of the box, even with the 15 inch board on the back and sloping down towards the 36 inch piece on the front. Next, cut and place the buttresses for the sloped sides of the lid. We made these out of two by twos. To find the right angle, hold one 28 inch two by two along the outside of the box frame so that the board lines up with the top front corner of the back leg and the top front corner of the front leg. Mark the needed angle with a pencil, noting which is the top and bottom. With your marks facing upwards, clamp the two by twos in place and carefully cut. Attach the cut pieces in place with two inch screws. The next step is to create the frame for the door out of one by four lumber, which won't be super sturdy on its own, but will be reinforced later with the siding. After assembling the door, connect it to the frame with two six inch hinges. To strengthen and complete the door, screw five pieces of one by six siding onto the door frame. Butt your first board up against the pin of the hinge when securing it and use it to line up the others as you make your way across. Now cut and attach the siding boards to the left and right sides of the box, starting front to back. Attach these boards to the side at their full 50 inch length, allowing them to rise above the box frame. Using the buttress as a guide, cut the angle of the siding boards all at once with a circular saw for a nice clean edge. Next, we'll build the lid. Add hinges first and then attach one by threes that will be used to hold the siding boards in place. Making sure that the boards remain parallel to one another, attach the siding boards for the lid, starting at the front and working towards the back. Now add siding to the back of the cook station in the same way. Under the lid, create a shelf out of one by threes and one by sixes. Cut your boards to length and then attach them to the interior frame using one and a half inch screws. To be able to keep the lid open, we added a 24 inch stay rod. With the top of the rod placed in a groove underneath the lid, we found a few locations that we liked for the lid to be propped at, marked them, and drilled indents for the end of the rod to sit in. We also added a magnet to hold the rod in place when not in use. Finally, we added a few last elements to complete the build, including a magnetic closure for the door, some boards at the bottom of the structure to create a floor for storage, and a fire extinguisher, just in case. That's it, you're now ready to start cooking outside. We hope you enjoy your new outdoor cooking station and we'll catch you next time on Done DIY.